Ashmore, and welcome to Would You Rather. You could probably hear my dogs in the background. They are in the living room fighting and playing and being all crazy. But we're going to play Would You Rather today because I think this is a good way for me to get to know me. For you to get to know me. Kids, quit making out and cry. That's what they do. They just, they argue and they bicker back and forth and they make so much noise. But a good way for me to know me, you to know me, and me to get to know you. Because I want to know, I want you to roast me in the comments if you don't like the decision that I make. I can take it. I can handle it. It don't bother, bother me whatsoever. I am going to play this though. I'm going to try and be as rational as I can with this. And this is the first question that popped up, which already tells me what everybody chose. So let's get right on into this. We're going to leave a lead a boring life from here forward. Reborn with all your memories into a baby of the opposite sex. Do I have to be reborn now? Or is this like when I die I get reborn? Because that would be kind of cool to like have all my memories and all of that. But if it's changing the life I live right now, I'd rather keep the life I lead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that it's after I die, then I get reborn. And this is, I'll lead a boring life from here forward until I die. We're, we're gonna choose this one. Let me choose it. Okay. Would you rather be infertile or have a child that passes away before age five? I'd rather be infertile. That is sad. I know. That is sad. You 19% of people... 300,000, you sad. That's real sad. I would rather be infertile than have my baby get raised up to five just to pass away. Dark, dark all of you. Whew, no. Oh my gosh. Would you rather spend a day in the Sahara Desert or spend a day in the North Pole? I hate being cold, I'd rather be hot. I want to be warm as the Dickens. Would you rather eat only human remains for the rest of your life or starve to death? I feel like because isn't there something in your stomach that if you he eat humans, it makes you throw up? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me Google something. Google, will you throw up if you eat human remains? So what happens to your body when you eat human meat? Unanimously frowned upon in the Western world, but aside from the ethics, it's flashback. Animalism, a health warning, just before the, behind the foods. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In the isolated highlands of Papua New Guinea, once lived a tribe of people called the Four. The Four were untouched by the outside world until the 1930s and unstudied until the 1950s when researchers finally made their way to the area discovered that an epidemic called the Laughing Death was killing women and young children and was caused by eating human meat. The Four people ate their dead instead of burying them to protect them from worms and maggots better in the stomach of a loved one. Trigger warning! Oh my god, I should have warned you guys beforehand. I am so sorry. Oh, crud. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just started reading. I hope you guys are okay. My gosh, okay. Even better was the stomach of a female loved one. Loved one than in the stomach of a grub. So the forethought, even better, was the stomach of a female loved one because her body could tame the dead spirit. So the woman scooped out the brains to cook and roast the body, sneaking tidbits to their young children, and they were getting really sick. The disease, called Kuru, caused the ill to lose control of their bodies and their emotions. Eventually, they died. When baffled re what baffled research, according to NPR, was that Kuru wasn't a virus or a living bacteria. Instead, it was a strange process that reached searchers compared to Dr. Jekyll's transformation into Mr. Hyde. The thin line between good and evil crossed by a twisted protein, one that tricked other proteins in the brain to twist like it, damaging the brain's cerebellum. The force people, four people stopped eating their dead half a century ago, but the epidemic spanned years. With the last victim of Kuru dying in 2009, the disease can lie dormant for years before attacking the brain, but similarly, confusing diseases are still out there like mad cow disease, which also originates in infected meat, just not, you know, human meat. Insane! 
insane. Oh my gosh, I have to leave a trigger warning before I start reading all of that. I would rather starve to death than eat human remains, but it seems like no matter which one you choose, you get into an early grave. I'm, I'd rather, wow, that is a close, that is, y'all are, we all some twisted people, because I, I technically had to look it up, but I didn't think, I thought there was, like, something in your body that when you ate human's remains, it would make you, like, deathly sick. Turns out, it's a mental thing, too. Whew, my gosh. Okay, would you rather be eaten by a zombie or be burnt at the stake? For those of you who don't know, I am, uh, Wiccan. That's all I'll touch on that subject. Uh, oh, burn me at a stake. You know, that's fine. That's fine. That's a close one, too. Okay. Okay. Would you rather find out your girlfriend is pregnant as in the next ten seconds or find out you can never have kids again? My girlfriend's pregnant? Do I get to meet her in the next ten seconds? Uh, I don't... Like, if I were to find out I couldn't have children, that is not the worst news in the world. Like, Chris and I are not avidly planning a family. We've always been among the mindset of, if it happens, it happens. If it does not happen, it does not happen. We're living our life, and at, at the end of 60 years, when we're old and gray, if we didn't have kids, we're not going to be mad about it. If we do have kids, that's great. Either way, um... So I don't really mind this one. Let's, let's, tell me my girlfriend's pregnant. Wow. Wow, less people. Less people want to find out they can't have kids. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, I, I'll be completely honest. I have not gone to a doctor to have, like, my eggs tested, so I don't know if I can have children. Would you rather have to wear a full body red leotard on your wedding day or have the person you are marrying that day with a full body red leotard? Chris, you're wearing a leotard. Yes. Because that would be amazing. I would have no problem with it, which goes against the theme of what I would want my wedding dress to look like. But seeing Chris, I would definitely grab his hand, be like, my sweet baby love. I will gladly take you in your red leotard. Have me, I have you, red leotard. Okay, would you rather be visited by ancient aliens or be visited by multiple aliens? Oh. Oh, yay. No, no, no threat since my last summary. I would rather be visited by aliens. I love space. I love everything about space. And I don't know too much about mole people. That's what I should do. Oh, I had an idea. I had an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea, but it popped in my head. So it's, it's there. It's up in the, uh, oh. Would you rather be waterboarded to death or be electrocuted to death? Oh, I, waterboarding is slow, I believe, because it's the simulation of drowning. So it would take, like, a lot of air circulation to be cut off in order for you to die. Electrocution, they can just turn that bad boy all the way up and you're, you're done. Done so. I'll be electrocuted. Yeah, see, see, in the majority. Would you rather know everything in your partner's past or know nothing from your partner's past? I'd rather know everything because, like, your past is before me and it is not going to affect me or how I feel about you. Would you rather snort one crushed up Altoid Mint Spearmint? Oh, God, imagine if you had, like, a, like a scratch inside your nose and you did that. Or take a shot of Tabasco sauce. I love hot sauce. I would rather take a shot of Tabasco sauce. Yeah, M much rather do that. Would you rather have no eyebrows or have a unibrow? Um, I, I would rather have no eyebrows. I try to do what I can to keep, keep that maintained. Wow, that's really close though. Good for, good for us all. Good for us all. Would you rather dress only in style famous, fi in styles famous 15 years ago or dress only the way you did when you were 15? Oh, God. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Oh, God, I spit. Sorry about that. Uh, I think I would rather dress in Styles Famous 15 years ago because I... Okay. Hang on. One more time.
Let's see. Styles of the last 15 years. I feel like the clothes I wear today are clothes that have been famous for the last 15 years or so. So I'm going to do that one. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. If you could go back in time, time and sign the Declaration of Independence, would you rather sign your real name or sign using a ridiculous pseudonym, Icy Wiener, Mike Roach, etc.? I'd rather sign my real name because then when I get back to the present, I can be like, boom, there's my name, and I can tell everybody that it was like my great, 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 lots of great grandma or something that I'm named after. But like, if I try it with a pseudon pseudonym, Nobody's gonna believe me. I can, I'm not gonna be able to be like, eh, look, I did Icy Wiener. Like, they're gonna be like, that was somebody else. You're dumb. Like, at least this way, I could, like, talk about that. Like, this, I can't. Like, I could just sit with everybody and be like, eh, hey, Icy Wiener. Like, the zombie horde has just broken into the farmhouse where you six other survivors were hiding. Would you rather run upstairs and barricade the second floor or sequester yourself in the cellar? The second floor, I can jump out of that. If you go down in the cellar and they break through, you're done. That's it. No, I don't want that. During a rowdy boxing match, would you rather have a section of your ear bitten off or lose your two front teeth? I don't like my teeth. It is like, like one of my most insecure features is my mouth. I, I don't like anything going on here. With that being said, I don't need to lose two th front teeth, so, I mean, I got little ears. I could lose an ear just as long as it's not this one and it's this one. I could do that. Yeah, that's fine. See, people agree with me. I'm not crazy. I'm not. For three minutes, would you rather play with dog, do like Play-Doh, or sit in someone else's warm urine? <laughs> Neither. Neither. But I have five dogs and I have cleaned up quite a bit of dog poop in my days. So I don't want to sit. I have a severe. It's so weird because I can pick up my dog's vomit and poop, all of their bodily fluids like it's nothing. Someone else's bodily fluids like another human being scare beings beans scares the living shit out of me. Like, one of my, I have, I have a weird germ thing, because I don't consider it a fear. But if somebody, like, coughs around me or sneezes around me, I will full on, like, no. No, it scares the living crap out of me. But it doesn't. Like, I can sit here and clean up my dog's poop, and sometimes dogs are grosser than humans. But that doesn't bother me. Maybe it's strangers. That's what it is. But I, I don't clean up anyone else's poop or pee other than my dogs. So you know what? We're gonna play with dog do leg play-doh. Wow! That's closer than I thought. You're willing to sit in a stranger's pee. See, I can't do it. That scares me. Mm-mm. 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 That awakens a need to vomit. No. No. Would you rather beat a tiger in a fight who ate a man or beat a man in a fight who ate a tiger? I feel like if he fought a tiger, it probably wasn't, like, fist to fist, because, like, I don't think... In the grand scheme of things, when you take all of our fancy doohickeys away, humans are not the toughest creatures out there. Just saying. And unless this guy is, like, Conor McGregor just swinging, I don't think he got that tiger because of his brute strength. So I'd rather beat a man in a fight who ate a tiger because I could kill him... Whoa! That's 50-50! Wow! Wow, okay. Alright, that's cool. I think we're gonna end this video here. If you guys would like to see me play more of this, if you'd like to answer the would you rathers down in the comments, I would love that. I'll sit there and conversate with you. As long as it's after I get off work and before I go to bed. I would love to talk to you guys about the videos and interact in a conversation with you guys so if you want to talk leave it down in the comments that would be awesome I have a bunch of video ideas that I'm really excited to play 
And I will eventually get to it all. There's just not enough hours in the day. I need more hours in the day. But I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a beautiful day, a beautiful afternoon, and a wonderful evening. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!